I'm sitting in a design class and my like 90 year old professor, he was so old, opens a textbook and he's all like, okay guys, today we have to learn about this thing called the Gaia theory, which is that everything in nature is interconnected. And you're probably gonna make decisions as a designer that'll have far reaching, catastrophic environmental impacts. So yeah, anyway, moving right along. And I was like, whoa, 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 Just, whoa, 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 what? What do you mean? So I turned to the rest of my class, and I'll never forget this. There's this kid, he says, Layla, I don't know why you're freaking out. It's not like any of these catastrophic environmental impacts will happen in our lifetime, so why should we care? And that changed the entire trajectory of my life, because I was all like, oh, I'm going to make you care. I live and breathe, therefore I require the Earth's natural resources to survive. I need to figure out how humans work, how the planet works, and how I can work in that space. It's like a giant puzzle for me. And I call myself a sustainability provocateur because I'm here to push buttons and provoke, to respectfully challenge the status quo. I develop a lot of uh, educational tools that other people can use, from games to uh, systems interventions. I do things like e-waste autopsies so they can understand the planned obsolescence and the elements that go into making them unsustainable. We started a gang for disruptive change makers. Who doesn't want to join a gang that's going to change the world? Then I also developed the Unschool of Disruptive Design. It's an experimental knowledge lab. We pop up all over the world, all professionals willing to challenge the status quo through creative interventions so that they can help elevate sustainability within their community. I think that the most important thing is that we reimagine the systems because the systems aren't working and we know that. We see system failures everywhere through the externalities from waste through to poverty. We all have the agency to reimagine the way the systems are designed and to contribute to the conversation about how the future can work better for all of us. And frankly, I believe that we're going to be able to figure out how to live in a really beautiful, sustainable and regenerative planet that is better than what we have today. I'm definitely not volunteering for Mars, just FYI. I'm on Spaceship Earth. That's where I'm staying. <laughs>